I absolutely don't know if this is going to work or not because I didn't even position the, the camcorder at all. Oh, I was just working inside and I saw a uh, bunny rabbit cross the road. <laughs> yeah, I think it's uh, 10 or 11. And it just was such a, an unusual occurrence. I thought, well, you know, why don't you let yourself out? And uh, give yourself a break. So I'm out here. On a break. <clears throat> this week is the first full week of summer school. And... Last week was, okay, you got to get Wednesday, Thursday, Friday in, and then you can really consider to be in summer school. So it was just like, get it in and get it done and boom. Now I know who my students are and I know what I have to do. So it's a little uh, easier and more difficult at the same time. So there you go. Wow, I think it may actually turn out all right, although the barbecue is in Guelph and Guelph has totally different weather, even though it's just, you know, an half an hour's drive that way. But whatever, at least it looks less ominous than it did this morning. It looked, it was overcast and it looked dreary. So, ha. yeah, you're not pointing at me, I don't know, I don't know, whatever. What else? As usual, it's the Saturday morning, I feel creepy, but I'm trying to work anyway. <laughs> Didn't win the, you know, big hundred million dollars. In the lottery. I'm hoping that my sister did because somebody in Quebec did, so fingers crossed. Um, I went back to, I was starting to read um, last week because it was so hot and I would sit out every evening and read. And I was reading Steve Jobs' biography, which was fine. It's going slowly, Liz, because um, when I read a, a fiction book, I can just zoom through it. But a non-fiction book is totally different for me. So uh, I'm plodding my way through it. Also, I started reading again my uh, Zen Meditations type book. And if I had it here, I could tell you the, the title of it, but right now it does not come to mind. just came out across the street. Um, distracted. <laughs> yeah, so I read my, my Zen book. That Zen book got me through losing my job. And then, uh, retraining. And lots of things. So every now and then I read it over again. And it always gives me something different. 
and this time I looked at it to try and deal with my feelings that I'm having about this thing with my uh, parents, specifically my mother. And the guilt or something that I'm feeling. And the anger and you know, all those things. And once again, the book helped. The book helped. And then I was, my husband and I, we went for a walk yesterday. Actually, once again, we went for two walks because, yeah, we went for two walks, even though I wasn't going to. And uh, for some reason, I was angry about something. Just, you know, I'm never angry out loud. I'm not, I was angry in my, in my mind. And uh, uh, again, doesn't that just apply the same way? Ah, oh, it's amazing. We play all these mind games with ourselves. Just let it go. You have to find that dead spot. find it and then everything's okay there you go so off to the engagement barbecue engagement party barbecue uh, I made my uh, potato salad chickpea potato salad tomato made a big bowl of it because this is for me and my husband and my son, whom we're picking up on the way to the barbecue in Guelph Lake Conservation Area or something like that, Recreation Area, whatever. And we played soccer there for years, so should be fun. Anyway, I think we'll have, looks like it's going to be a good day. Fingers crossed. Have a good one yourself, and... Uh, my work done. Of course I will. Because I have today and I have my ideas and I have, you know, things planned and I have tomorrow. And it's only one class, right? Keep telling yourself that. See ya.